Hi, good morning. Is that Dr Mulder? Yes. Hello. Um, we spoke before. My name is Max. Um, I spoke yes. to you about chemtrails. Yes. Hi, Max. Uh, sorry. I, I have too much work on my aerotoxic work and chemtrails on top of that is beyond me. I'm, I'm, I, I, I know about it. I agree with it, but I'm not going to incorporate it in my work at the moment. I'm tilt to the hilt with uh, lawsuits and everything else. I'm not going to take on any more work, so sorry for that. Okay, I, I, I understand. Perhaps you could just give me a little bit of, um, of advice, perhaps. Um, um, I'm what? on the line with somebody else at the moment, with an affected pilot, so I'll... Well, shall I make it a very quick one, then? Um, about, uh, could I test uh, hair and fingernails for aluminium and barium, manganese, strontium? Yes, you can. Okay. You can. And would that be reliable, do you think, to show to show that chemtrails exposure might be uh, legitimate? If you, if you find the components of chemtrails in the hair, you have a, a direct link. Okay, that's Sorry, terrific. There's a third one coming in. I have to stop. Sorry. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. All right.